There are no negatively charged particles in the universe. Negative electricity discharges while positive electricity charges. Positive electricity produces the condition of gravity by compressing. Negative electricity produces the condition of radiation by expanding. It is impossible for one of the polarized conditions to be present without the other. For each other's opposite borns its mate and it interchanges with it until each one becomes the other. A new concept of the universe, page 58 by Walter Russell. Modern science claims that the negative charge repels negative charge and attracts positive charge, whereas actually negative charge repels both negative and positive charge. Magnetism is the repellent or separative force of the universe of disintegrating matter. Electricity is the attractive force of the universe of integrating matter. Positive electricity is an endothermic, contractive force which is actively absorbing a comparatively large quantity of generative light units of heat which raises its potential and is expelling a smaller number of them devitalized de into magnetic radioactive emanations, thus slightly lowering its potential. Negative electricity is an exothermic, expansive force which is relatively absorbing a small quantity of generative light units of heat which instantly raises its potential and is expelling a greater number of them devitalized into magnetic radioactive emanations thus lowering its potential. Now must it be clearly understood that magnetism expelled by electricity from within a charging system did not enter the system as magnetism or as negative electricity it entered as positive electricity and became devitalized into negative electricity by nuclear absorption of its positive charge. It was then expelled from the higher inner pressure to the lower outer pressure of the system in the form of magnetism. The fact that electricity expels magnetism does not mean that it repels it. Expulsion is not repulsion. Expulsion is the result of electric attraction which causes electrically charged particles to draw closer together. The effect of closer assemblage is a centripetal effect of contraction which squeezes magnetism away from the spaces between the integrating particles of electric preponderance. The magnetic flow resulting from the squeezing process is merely the reaction of the action of squeezing. The action of electricity might be likened unto the compression of a spring from within. The reaction of magnetism might be linked, likened unto elastic resistance to that compression by an exactly opposite pressure of expansion from within. <clears throat> the very attempt to divide the one substance, still magnetic light, gives the appearance of but does not make two substances. It only develops two equal states of motion which man calls forces. It but creates two illusions. Just so with positive electricity and negative electricity. They are not two forces. They are but aspects of one force attempting to separate each by its own opposite method, thus becoming two forces. They never succeed in doing so. Each is charged with the other permeated more or less in accord with its periodicity. We are taught that opposites attract, but it, it, if this was so, then opposite poles of magnets would be at the, their centers, not their ends. When the positive pole of a magnet is brought into contact with the negative pole of another magnet, the effect that we think of as attraction is one of voidance. It is a cessation of opposition or power to manifest anything. Polarity utterly ceases at this point and each opposite extends to, its, to each opposite end, each getting away from and through the other spirally as far as they can. To say that opposites attract each other therefore is the equivalent to saying that north attracts south, inward attracts outward, wetness attracts dryness, or that darkness attracts incandescence. From the Secret of Light, page 155.